Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. What I'd like to show you today is how to build a mining rig from scratch. As some of you uh, were asking me, even in real life, how to build a rig properly. What what uh, do you need to, to get this done? And especially what to use for the casing. Because there are a lot of those out there that you can buy uh, from, from eBay, AliExpress or whatever portal. Um, they are usually for 100 bucks plus. Um, I'm using um, actual shelving from our, our local hardware store and uh, that's that's much cheaper. So let's get to it. Uh, what you're gonna need is a bunch of graphics cards obviously, um, some CPUs, motherboard, some RAM, and power supplies pretty standard stuff for for any any other uh, desktop only in this case we're gonna need a little bit more gpus so i have two z170 motherboards that i purchased uh, some older power supplies razors uh, external power button uh, bought from aliexpress and uh, and the shelf as i mentioned so first we're gonna need to build a shelf um, I usually buy the one that you can build with your own hands without any screws uh, or special equipment as it's pretty easy and quickly to, to get them uh, built. I always adjust the positions of, of specific rows of the parts of the shelf so that they fit my needs so that they can hold the GPUs in the right positions. Uh, apart from the standard shelf, I need to purchase this profile uh, that I can set in place from the back side of the GPUs that they're uh, being held from this, this side. And, and that's pretty much it. In case I would be building uh, two or three row shelving, I would obviously have to uh, buy another shelf, but uh, you, can, you can, I guess, uh, understand how that would work. So next thing you want to do is hook up a screen to your um, newly built PC and uh, set up a BIOS. And uh, that entails changing the uh, default output for the graphic, uh, well, not graphic card, but for, for your display. And uh, I usually adjust it for um, the integrated one because normally if you connect the uh, GPUs, they are set up as a default output. I don't like that. So uh, that's what I change. And secondly, uh, I also uh, adjust 4G um, encoding so that you, I can use more than four GPUs per motherboard. Otherwise it's not, not supported and uh, you will have a hard time getting them up and running. I don't think it's even possible to have them run without that function. So uh, after that, your PC is pretty much ready and you can start installing the system, uh, which I would normally use is a Windows Server, but in this case, I have the problem with uh, getting LAN adapter for uh, a driver uh, for this Z70 uh, motherboard. So I had to use Windows 10 instead. And once this is ready, uh, you need to make a decision on what you're gonna be mining. I prefer Ethereum up until now uh, i'm using nano pool for mining and uh, i use claymore tool for my gpus you can use uh, nice hash you can you can use xmr you can use different miners and uh, i will try to cover off this area in the next video because there's still a lot of work to be done once the rig is is built and uh, this was just to cover of how to do the physical part and how to how to get everything in place. Um, so just to recap, uh, what you're gonna need to order apart from the standard machine uh, or standard components that you would order order for building a standard desktop are razors, and uh, those you can get on Amazon and uh, eBay, for instance. I personally buy them from AliExpress because they're way cheaper. Uh, you can you can get a link in the description. And uh, apart from that, power button, which I will include as well. Uh, for one of these two rigs that I've been building, uh, I was using more than one power supply, so that is also 
uh, one of the special gadgets that you need to purchase. I will include that in, in the comment section as well. And I think that's it for the moment. So thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time.